Welcome back to SAF Made Easy. The section B of 2023 mains also has four interesting topics. So the first one was from the gender. There was this interesting quote, Girls are weighed down by restrictions, boys with demands. Two equally harmful discipline. Now, that's a nice way of putting things. Society puts too much of restrictions on girls. At the same time, society puts too much demands on boys. Both these things are actually harmful. So, this is a way of uh, looking at the patriarchal structure of society. Like, it's actually harmful for both the genders. That's the idea given in the paragraph. Sorry, the quote. So, the, if you get the meaning, then it's easy to, you know, think about other things. Because uh, the problem of women, you study in your uh, general studies uh, paper 1, social issues. And uh, if you have optionals like sociology, you would have studied it again. So, that gives you enough information to go about. So, once you get the meaning, this question is attemptable. Second one, I think is a more difficult one. Mathematics is the music of reason. Now, most of the people, this would have been a very difficult thing. Mathematics is called as the queen of all sciences and uh, music of reason. So, everything the maths, you know, you do it based on a reason and uh, evidence and uh, if you in exam and all, if you are able to work out a problem, you will get full marks. So, all those things are there. But to develop it into a thousand word essay, going to be really, really tough. So, I think when it comes to that elimination part, this question is almost surely to be eliminated. Now, the third question is... Uh, a society that has more justice is a society that needs less charity. So, a society that has more justice is a society that needs less charity means when exactly you give charity. So, more charity means more poor people. That means more rich poor divide. So, a just society there won't be much rich poor divide. So, there won't be no need for charity. That's the idea. So, we are talking about an egalitarian society with less rich poor divide. So, once you decipher that meaning of that sentence, again, this is very much attemptable. So, we are talking about the principles of equality, welfare state, inclusive growth, etc. The last question of section B in 2023 mains was education is what remains after one has forgotten what one has learned in schools. So, apart from this typical literacy and skills, what remains in you? That is the essence of education. So, this was quite similar to the one essay I wrote in 2005 that is about the real education. So, you talk about the values and other kind of things which you got from your educational institutions apart from the skill. But you have to do a lot of historical analysis. You have to bring in a lot of examples and things like that. So, the section A which we talked in the last episode, that uh, one question was the better pick, the one question about uh, decision making. Here, on the other hand, this uh, mathematics question is surely to be rejected because it will be very, very difficult. But the other questions if we talk about, there is one gender question, there is one question on the this principles of welfare state, there is this one question on education. So, based on your comfort level, based on your uh, natural inclination, you can pick any of these three questions. So, gender and education and of course uh, the welfare state all comes in our general studies syllabus. The general studies paper 1 as I mentioned covers the women issues. The paper 2 covers the welfare part and uh, the education and 
policies and all. So, you actually have a theoretical background of three of these topics. So, which among the three you think you can uh, write uh, more points as well as in which among these three you can write a good introduction. That should be your pick. So, this was a demonstration on how to pick up the topic and all the other rules which I told you should be following. So, this is about the general ideas about essays and uh, I hope you got a lot of insights about how to write an essay. So, people who are still in school start reading and people who are about to write the exam in one year or less than time start writing using all these tips. Thank you for watching.